up everyone, Zach Slife here with another gig vlog. This weekend my band Evolution X is going back to Bally's Beach Bar in Atlantic City, New Jersey. And I figured the point of this vlog would be to kind of go more in depth uh, to the bleh. I figured the point of this week's vlog could be a bit more in depth, kind of the thought process behind playing shows, what I do to prepare, what kind of gear I use, and we'll just get a different feel for the band and the vibe. So this week's gonna be a bit more technical and in depth and hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started right away. So the gear that I use live with Evolution X all has a specific purpose. Every guitar, cable, and amplifier that I use, I handpicked based on what I need to do in order to get my job done to the best of my ability without the hindrances of, you know, the drawbacks of other gear. So the main guitars that I use are Ernie Ball Music Man and Paul Reed Smith guitars. Lately, I've been using the Music Man Cutlass RS. This is the HSS model. And the reason I like this guitar is because the single coil pickups go through their proprietary silent circuit system and there's a buffer on the output which means that all three pickups have a pretty equal volume output and the single coil pickups, while not noiseless themselves, are pretty dead quiet. In terms of Paul Reed Smith, right now I'm using the Custom 2408. If you guys have seen this on the channel a ton before, this is my go-to guitar because like the Ernie Ball, it's got a nice proprietary switching system so I can switch the humbuckers and single coils on and off and again the volume output is pretty equal and there is very minimal noise that comes through and look at the strap on this guitar I mean come on it's pretty banging I have the bridge fixed on both of these guitars just to allow for maximum tuning stability on all of my guitars, I use 10 to 46 gauge strings. It's usually D'Addario, and everything has Dunlop strap locks just to be nice and secure. Moving on to the main brain of my rig, this is the Kemper Profiler Stage Unit. This is what I take out because we use an in-ear system, so I run my Kemper Direct into that. We split it so that front of house can do what they need, so that the audience can hear it and I have total control over my own sound, and this thing covers all the ground. I need to be able to go from 80 synth pop to 2000s metal with just a single button switch, and this definitely helps me do that. One of the most important things that I try to practice and remember on a regular basis is what songs are in the medleys that we do and also what order and what parts of the songs we do. As long as I have that remembered up here, then I'm usually good to go for the show. <laughs> So when we do weddings, we always send the bride and groom our master set list, which is every song that the band has played since 2017. You know, we highlight the ones that we play uh, most recently and most often. And then we also allow them to add a couple songs, you know, to make their special event just that much more special and important to them. So of course that means that every now and then we're gonna have to learn a handful of new songs in, you know, a couple weeks time. So I'm gonna work on a couple of those right now and kind of walk you guys through the process. So right here you can see that this is their top 10 list that they wanted us to work on. So, you know, I started by working on all the ones that we've done already, like shipping up to Boston, Your Love, and then the ones that we haven't done in a bit, you know, they sent out some new tracks for. So we worked on, in the end, Uprising, where the streets have no name. And then the bold ones were the ones that I still had to work on or haven't learned yet. So we're gonna take a look at how I go through some of these. So first thing I'm gonna do is, you know, if Nate has a track for it, I'll bring up the track that we use and we play along to, and I'll just kind of check it out. <laughs> so 
So after listening to the track, I kind of figure out what parts are being covered, what parts I need to cover. First on like Uprising by Muse, there's only one guitar playing at a time for the you know majority of the song. So I just learn all the guitar parts, beginning to end, play along with them. And then for the parts that don't have guitar, that's up to me to decide what I'm going to play to fill in that space. So I'm not just staying there on stage, you know, twiddling my thumbs. So let's kind of go through that. Once I've practiced everything and I feel pretty confident, it's time to pack up and get ready for the show. I all know the most important part about preparing for a show is how you look. Car is packed and ready to go. Here we go. Plain City, Bally's Beach Bar, round two. Evolution X, we'll see you there. I know I got this shot last time, but it's always the nice when you finally arrive, you know? Did I ever mention how much I hate parking garages? This one is seriously 13 floors, and I have never had success going anywhere less than the 12th floor. Ugh. All right, we have arrived. Time to go grab some food, load up. Got dark, still waiting for my chicken nuggets, man. Just kidding, I didn't get chicken nuggets. Got chicken sandwich. All right, so we got the in-ear system tonight. We're just gonna go direct. So hopefully everything sounds and feels great. <laughs>
Nice thing about having the in-ear monitors is that you can walk around stage, you get the same sound, you don't have to worry about being too far from your amp or anything. Everything comes through super clear, you hear the vocals clear, you can hear the tracks clear, and it saves your ears. I don't feel fatigued at all, except for my back, but uh, you know, it's it's really nice for a band of this stature and this size. Um, you gotta go off of in-ears, it will save your hearing, especially when you're playing, you know, four to eight shows a month. It, it definitely helps in the long run for sure. Definitely recommend it. Um, I mean, it usually gets me to the Dizio, and it just happened to be like a day where it's kind of really virtual. guys enjoyed the vlog gonna have a couple more coming out uh, until then be safe you know do what you gotta do and uh, keep on enjoying and appreciating and supporting artists during these times thank you